Chess friends, today is a very exciting night and I am going to add a party on this day. Today I am going to show you an incredible chess game where I sacrificed my rook in the opening against Magnus Carlsen, but can he win the game? There are only two ways to live your life, one is as though nothing is a miracle, the other is as though everything is a miracle, let's get started, Magnus started the game with e4, I played h5 to giving up the rook on h6, Magnus extend his center with d4, and I made a bold move with rook to h6, sacrificing the rook in the opening, if you're a human, this move might seem unthinkable because, after all, you've only got a 2 gigabytes brain, lol. Takes takes and Magnus could go with queen takes pawn but he chooses to play knight c3, I played g6 and look at the position, he have a great center with a material advantage, in this position I lacked any structural or developed piece advantage, look how I deftly enhance my position despite these initial setbacks, knight f3 bishop here bishop e2, he have no attacking position so I played d6, e5 or c5 can be played in future, bishop g4 is a threat, after several more moves, we have knight d5 b6. I want to develop my bishop on this diagonal, queen up c6 knight e3 bishop b7, I'm planning to move the knight to g4, after the knight exchanges, the idea is to bring the queen to f6, targeting the d-pawn, subsequently I aim to execute a long castle to secure the open h-file, where the bishop strategically targets the king side, so h3 a5 rook e8 king here and Magnus played, c3 to block the bishop's diagonal, therefore I repositioned my knight to utilize the bishop on this crucial diagonal. When one door closes, another one opens, queen backs and following a few subsequent moves, I want to play king g7 to involve bring the rook in kingside, Magnus extend his kingside which may appear a mistake, after all he is just a human in front of me, if you dare to capture the pawn, let me show you the variation, takes takes and you will simply lose your knight, so in this position we play g3 to strengthen the structure, h4 and if you capture the h pawn then after bishop takes f4, queen d3. Bishop g3 to target it, rook run away, I'm going to capture the crucial pawn and your king's position will end up in a terrible state. Just when you think it can't get any worse, it can, and just when you think it can't get any better, it can, so back to the position, if you think of playing pawn takes e5, let me show you the variation, pawn can't capture it because of this so after knight g4, targeting this so after knight exchanges h takes g3, you may think of capturing the pawn, which will invite my knight to e5, this move strategically deploys the bishop, pair to attack the vulnerable kingside, knight f3 knight takes pawn a4 g2, king takes g2 can't possible because of knight e3 fork, so after rook f2 we have bishop e3 to pin the rook, you can't defend your rook, so after king takes g2 bishop takes rook. Knight fork is coming, therefore after rook to h1, the plan is to execute rook h8 check, aiming for both the king and queen, queen d6 to play queen g3 check so rook h3 knight e3 check and that's it, you will lose the queen and the game. The one you love and the one who loves you are never, ever the same person, so back to the position, Magnus played knight g4 first, to target the bishop, we have knight exchanges and h takes g3, d takes e5 is not possible there so after g5, I played brilliant move g2, you can't capture the pawn, let me show you why, e takes f4, sacrificing the bishop, executing queen g5 check results in the king getting ensnared in a mouse trap, king back to h1, inferior human looking move. Capture here capture here and soon we'll advance the king to deliver rook h8, leading to checkmate in just a few moves, so bishop h5 queen check here check here rook h8 to pin the bishop, no matter what move you make, you're bound to lose, let's suppose knight to f3, the only available move, takes queen blocks takes and that's enough to resign the game, I sacrificed my rook in the past for no apparent reason and behold, Magnus is now on the losing side, because I am stockfish. There's no one born on this planet who can beat me, so back to the position we have rook f2 pawn takes f4, pawn takes bishop will create a drawable position, let me show you the variation, queen h4 to target the rook brothers, king takes g2 queen check backs, check here check, and the game will be draw by repetitive checks, the king is trapped between the jailer pawn and the queen, unable to escape. Magnus had a chance to make this game draw but God made human brain very low quality and intellect are often flawed, 
Magnus takes the pawn, Bishop takes knight here Bishop backs, I've got a very good structure in kingside, open file, rook here king ups, and after couple of moves later we have rook to h8, best move for white is to play knight h4 but Magnus played king h1, hence I execute the final throwback move, c5, establishing the e5 outpost for the knight, a3 knight f6 e5. Takes rook takes e5 and looks like white position is still okay, however there are numerous deficiencies in this position, rook h4 to protect it, takes takes rook c8 to play rook check, bishop takes knight would lose the pawn on d4, I speak to everyone in the same way, whether he is the garbage man or the president of the university, Magnus moved back his rook, bishop g5 and if you try to save the rook, let me show you the variation, knight g4 will be a critical move as white can't stop knight f2 check. Bishop e4 knight f2 check, king ups and you will lose the bishop, and here, if you slide the king then you will lose the rook, position will be dead lost so in this position we have queen takes bishop, takes, king ups, knight g4 check. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.